Hi, my name is Joe Gaylord, and I'm part of the team at the ITU Telecom World Young Innovators Competition. I'm really sorry that I couldn't be there in person, but I hope that this video presentation uh, kind of makes up for the fact that I couldn't be there. Um, to start off, uh, the Young Innovators Competition is part of the ITU Telecom World, which is a uh, conference that's run by the International Telecommunication Union, which is the part of the United Nations responsible for information and communications technologies of what I'm going to call ICTs. Uh, Telecom World is an annual industry event that brings together industry leaders and governments and regulators and uh, engages in dialogues about the future of the telecommunications industry. So within the Young Innovators Competition is a competition for social entrepreneurs between 18 and 30, and we look at uh, entrepreneurial businesses, innovative businesses that use ICTs to solve different social goals. So, for example, one of the challenges that we had this year was on the use of uh, uh, the digitization of local languages and cultures, or uh, the application of open source technology to disaster management. And we approach two of the major issues that uh, the ITU in general and specifically telecom world really want to work with and really want to address as uh, topics of their work, which are innovation and crowdsourcing. We use a platform called uh, Crowdicity, for, uh, which is a crowdsourcing platform in order to collect ideas and also to uh, co-create ideas for certain challenges that we run. And of course, we're working with innovative new enterprises for uh, the purpose of um, our work. All right. So why is the ITU interested in innovation? Well, we need to stay ahead. This, the, the communications industry is constantly changing and it's constantly be dis being disrupted. And it's especially being disrupted by young people and outsiders. It's uh, the very rarely does the, the huge innovation, does the huge disruption come from within. And in order to stay ahead of the conversation that we're going to be talking about, in order to stay ahead of the technology that we're going to have to regulate tomorrow, that we're going to have to learn how to use tomorrow as an organization and as an industry. We need to take our conversation from the boardroom to the garage and always make sure that we're interacting with the new and innovative startups that are uh, going to be disrupting the industry in the future. More importantly, we're not just a telecommunications organization. We're part of the United Nations. And so we need to be also making sure that when we deal with these technologies, that we're looking at how they can be applied to social goals. The UN as a system has a development agenda. It looks to achieve certain things. Uh, as I said before, two of the ones that we've dealt with this year that fit very neatly into the UN agenda are the preservation of languages and cultures by digitizing them, by bringing them into the online space, and uh, the preparation for disaster management, which we can approach with open source technology. And whenever we do a challenge, whether it's something that we've done on climate change right now or on food waste, any of these issues that we address they all fit in with the UN development agenda, bringing in WHO and all of the others. Okay, so why is the ITU interested in crowdsourcing? And we've used crowdsourcing on a number of different things. Uh, we use it for policy sourcing uh, with the Beyond 2015 project, which looked at the post-2015 development agenda, and the GPY, which is the Global Program for Youth, that we ran with the uh, Special Envoy for Youth, Ahmed Alandawi, which was an extension of the Beyond 2015 discussion. We've also used it for internal crowdsourcing of uh, ideas related to our agenda, and also we're using it for the this project as well. And um, we also are looking at becoming the, the leader in this, spreading these ideas and, help, and guiding other UN organizations through the, the crowdsourcing process. And we're interested in crowdsourcing in part for the same reasons that all of the private sector companies, that all of these other organizations are, which are you have a broader knowledge base, you're bringing in outsider opinions, and you're improving your ideation process. 
You're just getting more ideas that you can pick from and more relevant ones because you're actually asking your users what they want, which is a huge change and it really does improve the ideation process. But we also have reasons that are particular to our space as a UN organization. We have to be transparent and democratic. That's part of our mandate. This is part of what we're required to do. And the crowdsourcing process allows us to do this. Everything's on the table, everything's on the website. You see one for one where the idea came from and how it was used. And now this is particularly, this last point is particularly talking about the uh, development discussions that we've had, but it's tremendous that it inverts the development conversation. What do I mean by that? Well, when I'm talking about the Beyond 2015 discussion, this is where we brought in young people and asked them what their priorities were for the post-2015 development agenda. And this inverts the traditional UN process. Traditionally, within the United Nations, you have experts that discuss what organizations want for their target populations. And this is all right. I mean, it, this is not to discount expertise. Expertise is tremendously important in the areas that we're talking about. But when you talk about a crowdsourced UN process, you're actually getting the population to tell the experts what they want from the organization. It puts the focus on the people that you're trying to aid, the, the populations that you're trying to serve, rather than the, the interests of the experts and the interests of the organizations. And this is an extremely powerful tool, and it has tremendous potential to change the way that we talk about development, that we talk about the work of the UN. So I'm really excited about this. Um, okay about as much time as I have. I've actually ran a little bit over, but um, you can look me up. My email is joseph.gaylord at itu.int, and uh, you can find our uh, competition on Facebook at ITU Young Innovators Competition, and you can find our work at ideas.itu.int. Thank you so much for your time. Again, I'm sorry that I couldn't be there, but I'm really happy that I can send my ideas by uh, uh, video, and yeah, I'm really excited to continue this conversation with you in the future. Thanks.